Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Aurora Municipal is a medium-sized, primarily general and business aviation airport. Located a little more than 25 miles southwest of the Chicago O'Hare International and just west of the city of Aurora, it can be a convenient alternative to other more congested airports. The airport configuration consists of three runways. The largest is runway 927. It is intersected by runway 1533 and runway 1836. The taxiway system provides access to all parking areas and airport services located on the southeast side of the airport. Pilots arriving at Aurora when the airport is landing to the north have sometimes confused runway 33 and runway 36. Given the proximity of the approach ends to these runways, extra attention need be paid when identifying and landing on either one. A quick check of compass heading and runway assignment will go a long way to alleviate this issue. Note, pilots planning to utilize the VOR runway 36 approach need to be aware that the final approach course actually aligns straight into runway 33 and that landing on runway 36 requires a slight right turn to final. One of the most prevalent mistakes made by pilots while operating on the airport surface concerns taxiing across or on a runway or taxiway without appropriate ATC clearance. This occurs at Aurora in two primary places. Aircraft taxiing east or westbound on taxiway Alpha often miss the hold short locations for runways 1836 and 1533. These mistakes occur even when hold short instructions have been acknowledged and read back correctly. Pilots are reminded that a clearance is required to cross any runway, active or not. Verifying taxi routes and any restrictions before you taxi will help to avoid these potentially serious mistakes. In certain airport configurations, primarily when landing runways 15 and 18, Aurora will use runway 927 to taxi aircraft to the ramp area. This allows the outbound routes via taxiway Alpha and Bravo to remain clear of opposite direction arriving traffic. When landing in this configuration, remaining on the active runway and passing an available turnoff, such as taxiway Bravo 4, may seem counterintuitive to the pilot, who's been taught to clear the runway in the most expeditious manner. In this particular case, however, utilizing runway 927 to taxi aircraft after landing helps keep the operation running safely and efficiently for all airport users. Another area of concern occurs with aircraft landing runway 927 and instructed to exit at taxiway Charlie. Aircraft have missed taxiway Charlie and turned off on runway 1836 instead. Pilots need to positively identify the surface they are turning onto to avoid potentially serious errors. Pilots need to remember that if they are ever in doubt or unsure of any instruction or aircraft position, the easiest answer is to ask the tower. They're there to help. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Aurora will help pilots make better decisions and along with the ATC tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. Now you're better prepared for your trip to Aurora Municipal Airport. It's always better to know before you go.